Hello everybody, welcome to Cardion Full. Today we are going to take a look on how to install GUI application like Google Chrome inside WSL2 and how to fix some problem related to the bus. So first you need to update your WSL version. So for that open a PowerShell and then just shut down the WSL by run WSL shutdown. So then run WSL dash dash update. For me we can see the most recent version is already installed. So I will just restart the WSL by just run WSL. So then we close this, open a new windows of WSL and then we'll get the deb package of google chrome so first navigate to slash tmp and then run this command run this command so the link is in the description if you want to get the command So it will download the package of Google Chrome and then get the current stable version of the package by run this command. Then we will fix the package by run sudo apt install dash dash fix dash broken dash yes and another time configure the package by run this the same command like before and then it's over your yeah, google chrome it's installed and you can have this error when you try to run the navigator you can have fail to connect to bus, fail to connect to the socket, so no such file or directory. So this error is related to the fact that the GUI application is not enabled in the WSL. So to fix that error, navigate to slash mmt slash c slash users slash. This is your username, so replace this by your username inside your computer so I will open WSL config so I will open directly the file by run nano and then we can see that the gear application property is set to false so if you didn't have this file so nano will create directly the file and then you can copy paste this to a line and set the gear application true and then save exit and then when you run Google Chrome so and then restart the WSL by close the windows and just open a new terminal we need to restart entirely the Google Chrome so open another time the PowerShell and then execute WSL dash dash shutdown and then WSL to restart it and then if you enter just Google Chrome now we have our navigator inside running inside the WSL thank you for watching this video